As we speak, the markets are navigating the final hours of the 2025 calendar, and NVIDIA stock is currently trading at 188.45 per share, showing a slight intraday dip of about 0.4% from yesterday's close of 189.21. While the broader indices are relatively quiet in this shortened holiday session, the volume behind this movement suggests a subtle but significant repositioning by major players who are looking past the current year and toward the massive infrastructure cycles scheduled for early 2026. Most retail observers look at the 180 range and see a massive run-up that might be getting tired, but if you look closer at the order books on the Interactive Brokers Trading Desk, you see a different story. The reality is that the tension between what the public expects from the Blackwell platform and what the supply chain is actually delivering has created a specific kind of volatility that only the most informed investors are currently navigating. You might think the big gains are over for a company with a market cap flirting with the $4.5 mark, but the actual bottleneck isn't demand. It is the physical limit of how fast these chips can be packaged and shipped. The general sentiment surrounding NVIDIA stock right now is one of cautious optimism, primarily because of the incredible success seen throughout 2025 with the deployment of the initial Blackwell clusters. However, the contrarian take that we need to examine involves the massive shift towards sovereign AI and local data centers. While everyone is focused on big cloud providers like Microsoft or Amazon, the real surprise in the recent data is the rise of national-scale computing projects in the Middle East and Europe. These are not just standard data centers. These are sovereign assets that require a level of hardware and software integration that only the CUDA ecosystem can provide. This is where the gap between expectation and reality becomes most apparent. People expect growth to slow as the big hyperscalers finish their initial builds, but reality shows a massive backlog of orders from nations that are just starting their own internal compute clusters. This shifts the narrative from a simple hardware cycle to something much more permanent and structural in the global economy. When you log into your Fidelity mobile app or check your holdings on the Robinhood app, you are likely seeing NVIDIA stock as a dominant force in almost every tech-heavy portfolio. The retail interest hasn't faded even as the price has moved into these higher multiples. In fact, if you look at the activity on Robinhood stock trading, the demand for Robinhood fractional shares in this specific ticker continues to outpace almost every other name in the semiconductor space. This persistent retail interest provides a floor for the price, but it also creates a high-stakes environment where any slight miss in manufacturing yields leads to outsized price swings. We saw this earlier in the year when the TSMC packaging constraints caused a minor panic, yet the stock recovered because the underlying revenue remained so incredibly robust. This is the hallmark of a structural leader. It doesn't just participate in a trend, it defines the physics of the market itself. Institutional activity has been particularly fascinating over the last 30 days. Large funds using Fidelity Wealth Management Services and sophisticated individual brokerage accounts are moving away from simple buy-and-hold strategies into more complex hedging. We are seeing a significant increase in the use of Fidelity ETFs and other diversified instruments to gain exposure while mitigating the risk of a single-point failure in the AI supply chain chain. For those who manage their own capital through self-investing or use an intelligent portfolio approach like those offered by Schwab Intelligent Portfolios, the question is always about the next catalyst. Is it the Rubin architecture reveal scheduled for next year, or is it the further integration of networking hardware that will drive the next leg higher? The market currently prices in a nearly perfect execution, which is always a dangerous spot to be in. Yet, NVIDIA has a track record of exceeding even the most aggressive projections.
Consider the competitive landscape for a moment. AMD has been making noise with its ROCM 7.0 release, attempting to bridge the gap in the software stack that has kept so many developers locked in to the NVIDIA ecosystem. While AMD's hardware is impressive on paper, the reality of developer friction remains a major hurdle. When professionals use the Interactive Brokers platform to trade these two names against each other, they are essentially betting on whether software or hardware wins in the long run. So far, software has been the impenetrable fortress. This is why investing sites continue to list this ticker as a top pick, despite the high valuation. The moat isn't just a chip, it is millions of lines of code and thousands of developers who don't want to learn a new language just to save a few percent on hardware costs. For the person doing online investing through a SoFi active investing account or a similar trading platform, the macro pressures of late 2025 are the real wild card. We have seen a shift in how interest rates and inflation expectations are impacting tech multiples. While high growth names usually suffer in a rising rate environment, Nvidia stock has shown a strange decoupling from traditional correlations. This is because its revenue growth is so high that the discount rate barely makes a dent in the present value of its future cash flows. It's a rare case where the fundamental expansion is fast enough to outrun the macro headwinds. Comment below how many shares of NVIDIA you currently hold in your portfolio and whether you are planning to add more before the new year begins. This kind of engagement helps us see where the retail sentiment actually lies compared to the institutional narrative. Beyond the immediate price action, we have to look at what the company actually does at its core to understand the next phase of this growth. It isn't just about GPUs anymore. The business model has shifted towards becoming a full-stack data center provider. They are selling the racks, the networking, the cooling solutions, and the software that manages it all. This is why their profit margins have remained at levels that most analysts thought were impossible to sustain. When you log into your Fidelity brokerage statement and see the growth in your semiconductor holdings, you are seeing the result of a company that has successfully captured the entire value chain of modern computing. They have turned the data center into a factory where the raw material is electricity and the finished product is intelligence. This is a massive shift from the old model of selling individual parts to builders who did the integration themselves. The older reports from late 2024 and early 2025 pointed to potential oversupply, but those fears have largely been proven wrong by the reality of the Blackwell demand. The transition to yearly product refreshes has kept competitors on their back feet, as they are essentially trying to hit a moving target that is accelerating away from them. This is the expectation versus reality dynamic at play. The market expected a plateau but the reality is a continuous ramp. For those using SoFi Investing or Robinhood Investments to build a long-term position, this consistent execution provides a level of confidence that is hard to find elsewhere in the market. Even as other tech giants like Apple stock or Tesla stock face their own unique challenges with consumer demand or manufacturing transitions, the demand for enterprise compute remains a singular driving force. If we look at the future outlook, several scenarios could unfold as we move into 2026. The most likely path involves a steady climb as the production of Blackwell Ultra begins to hit the market. This will coincide with a period where we see the first true agentic AI applications becoming common in the enterprise space. The catalysts are clear. Higher efficiency, lower power consumption per token, and an even deeper integration of the network stack. However, the risks are equally real. Any geopolitical friction that impacts the TSMC facilities in Taiwan would be a systemic shock that no amount of software could fix. This is why sophisticated investors using interactive brokers trading tools are often looking at geographic diversification within the semiconductor space, even if they remain heavily weighted in the leader. The opportunities in the midterm also include the expansion into robotics and automotive AI.
While Tesla stock often gets the headlines for self-driving, the hardware that many other manufacturers are using to train their models often comes from the same source. This creates a secondary market that is still in its early phases. For someone looking for investment help or exploring various investing sites for the next big move, the lateral expansion into these new verticals is where the hidden value might lie. The transition from digital AI to physical AI, robots that can move and interact with the world, requires a level of real-time processing that is perfectly suited for the architecture they have spent decades perfecting. In the final section of our analysis, we have to reinforce how the current market expectations are being challenged by a much deeper reality. The expectation was that AI was a bubble that burst once the initial curiosity faded. The reality is that AI has become the foundational layer of the global economy, and the hardware required to run it is the new gold. Whether you are using the Fidelity trading platform to execute complex strategies, or just checking your 